Due to popular demand, I'm going to differentiate x to the 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 x. Dot dot dot. Meaning we have infinitely many x going up like that in the power. And here's of course the usual approach. To do this, we'll first begin by saying let y equal to that. So y is equal to x to the x to the x dot dot dot. And my usual style is I will rewrite this again, but this time I will write it down in red. So we will have y equal x to the x to the x dot 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 in red right here. And I will write this down one more time. This time, do it carefully. I will have the y right here, equal sign right here, and this x right here. But for the rest of the x right here, I will write them down in red. So we have the x to the x dot 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 power like that. Now, take a closer look. This is, of course, y equal to x, but all this part here in red is the same as just the y in red, right? So in another word, this is just y equal to x to the y power, isn't it? And now, to differentiate this guy, what do we do? Pay close attention, here we have a function to a function power. To do the derivative here, we are going to first ln both sides. So that way, we can bring the power y here to the front, and do not minus 1. This is just the innocent log property. It has nothing to do with the power rule in derivative, okay? Anyway, on the left-hand side, we have ln y, and this is equal to y times ln x. And now we're ready to differentiate this guy by implicit differentiation. On the left-hand side, the derivative of ln y is first 1 over y, but you know we have to multiply by the derivative of y by the chain rule. And the derivative of y, because y is a function of x, we are going to multiply by dy dx. And now, on the right-hand side, here, this is the product of two functions. So I have to use the product rule. I will write this down first. The first function is y times the derivative of the second. The derivative of ln x is just 1 over x. And then we add the second function, namely ln x, and we multiply by the derivative of the first. The derivative of y with respect to x, we will have dy dx. So this is what we have. As we can see, we have the dy dx on both sides. I need to collect them and isolate the dy dx, and the rest will be the answer. But before we do that, this equation here, we have fractions. We have the y in the denominator. We have this x in the denominator. So before I move things around, let me multiply everything by this x and that y. Namely, we multiply everything by x times y, OK? So that we can clear the fraction. All right, now, take this times that. We'll just have x times dy dx. And then this is equal to, when we do this times that, the x cancel out, we will have y times y. So that's y squared. And then for this right here, it's just xy in front of the ln. So we plus xy, ln x, and then we have the dy dx. All right? And now, of course, we move this to the other side, and we factor out the dy dx. And when we do that, we'll put the dy dx at the end. So that way, it doesn't look like this notation. right? And in the front, we have this x, and that's positive. So I'll put on a parentheses x right here. We move this to the other side. We have minus x, y, ln x, like that. And then on the right-hand side, we still have the y squared. So we have all this. It's equal to y squared. At the end, of course, to get this by itself, we divide that on both sides. So we will have dy dx equal y squared on the top over that, which is x minus xy times ln x. And this right here is it, right? Pretty cool. And of course, if you want to make this study more interesting so you can um, impress girls, you write y as x to the x to the x to the x to the x and things like that. You can do that there and you can do that there. And if you want to make this even crazier, you can put this to the exponent here. But let me just rewrite the y in terms of x, just for fun. So finally, I'll do this in blue, of course. Right here, we'll say dy dx equal this x. I mean, this y, it's the same as saying x to the x to the x dot dot dot. 
And technically, I should put that in the parentheses and then that to the second power. And to be honest, I have no idea what this is anymore. But anyway, this is extremely cool. And then divided by this x minus this x, but this y is that. So we multiply by x to the x to the x to the dot 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 power like that. And then we have the ln x like that. So depends on how you want your answer.